Hello mortals, I'm the booktube goddess, the number one drag queen booktuber on YouTube! And it is time for another game of Shelve It or Shove It, the completely superficial way to pick books for my TBR based solely on their cover. As per usual, I am looking on Goodreads and their new releases section, and I'm going to look at young adult, science fiction, and fantasy. First up is young adult, and the first book in this section is Realm Breaker by Victoria Aveyard from the multi-million copy best-selling author of Red Queen. And it says, save the world or end it. The cover is okay. I'm not that impressed by it. I do like someone holding the blade of the sword and there's blood dribbling down the hand. That's kind of interesting. Other than that, it's just a generic fantasy to me. Therefore, I am going to shove it. Next up is The Ones Were Meant to Find by Joan He. And I do like this cover. It has that oil painting kind of look that I like. And there are two women's faces on the cover. I think they may be twins. And there are ocean waves rolling around them. Very nice cover. I'm going to have to shelve it. Next up is Tokyo Ever After by Emiko Jean. And, hmm, it's a little blurb, a fresh and distinctly modern fairy tale. I don't know which fairy tale this is retelling. Hopefully a Japanese fairy tale. Uh, I do kind of like that there are, it looks like it was made with cutouts of paper of a woman in profile. It's, hmm. I'm kind of interested just because it says Tokyo Ever After. Maybe this is a Cinderella retelling in uh, Japan. Japanese American? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I have a lot of questions. And I think I have too many questions. Therefore, I am going to shove it. Next up is Cool for the Summer by Dahlia Adler. The guy of her dreams or the girl in her heart. This looks like a romantic comedy. Not my cup of tea. I'm going to have to shove it. Finally, we have Counting Down With You by Tashi Buyan. And it's like another romance multiracial romance. The cover's kind of mm, a little generic for me, not to mention I think it's a romance. Therefore, I think I'm going to have to shove it. Next up is Project Hail Mary by Andy Weir, author of The Martian. Now, this book I have heard of because in my live streams, people have been talking about this and reading it, and the cover is kind of bleh, but just because I've heard people talking about it, I think I am going to shelve it. Next up is Firebreak by Nicole Corner Stace. And it looks like a big circuit board and hmm, brutal, intense, and unstoppable, says Amal Al Mutar. And it looks like there's a big CR code in the foreground don't know anything about this from the cover. Maybe cyberpunk. I don't know. I'm just going to have to shove it. Next up is We Are Satellites by Sarah Pinsker, who is a Nebula Award winning author. That's interesting. I actually kind of like this cover. There is a silhouette of a person leading a child. There is a starry greenish sky and a big lens flare around the child. And I wonder if he has special abilities because the lens flare looks like it's emanating from his head. So 
I'm kind of curious about this one and I do like the cover. So I am going to shelve it. Next up is Day Zero by C. Robert Cargill. It was a day like any other, except it was our last. And it looks very post-apocalyptic uh, person looking on to a ruined city. Oh uh, boy, I'm not in the mood for this type of novel, so I am going to shove it. Finally, we have Version Zero by David Yoon. Their only chance to save the future is to reboot the present. So, time travel. And, mm, not really feeling this one. I am going to have to shove it. And now we move on to fantasy. First up is Sorrow Land by Rivers Solomon. I've never heard of this author, but I like its name. Um, the cover, I don't know. There's some plants, black background, blue-black background. Everything's in shades of blue. Uh, don't know enough about it. I'm going to have to shove it. Next up is Son of the Storm by Suyi Davis Akungbawa. I actually like this cover. I like the graphic artwork. I like the image of a person of indeterminate gender. I, th I think it's male with the mohawk. I like it sort of glowing. I, I do like this cover a lot. Therefore, I am going to shelve it. Next up is The Black Tongue Thief by Christopher Buhlman. Your smallest mistake could become your biggest adventure. Highly entertaining ride through a world as monstrous as it's wondrous. And I do like this cover. The illustration is black and white except for a mustard yellow background. Very striking. Haven't seen this type of cover very often. And there is a cat in the cover and you know how I am with cats. I think I'm going to have to shelve it. Next up is Ariadne by Jennifer Saint. Why is this familiar to me? I don't know if it's the author or the title. Um, I like the Art Deco woman on the cover. I assume this is a Greek fantasy. Ariadne is the person who gave Midas the ball of thread. I believe. Anyway, um, I don't think I'm in the mood for a Greek fantasy. Therefore, I'm going to have to shove it. Next up, we have A Master of Gin by P. DeJelly Clark. A clever, wickedly fun steampunk mystery with an excellent balance of humor and heart, says S.A. Charkaborty. So, a steampunk mystery, and this is a very lovely cover. I love the steampunk elements. It looks like some museum or huge atrium. And there is a person walking down a corridor. Wow. And since the title says A Master of Gin, I think it is Middle Eastern, a Middle Eastern steampunk fantasy. I am intrigued and this is beautiful artwork. I am going to shelve it. Okay. I shelved a lot of books today, but I'm only going to pick one because I'm in the middle of moving this month and I don't want to take on too much. We have One Young Adult, The Ones We're Meant to Find by Joan He. In science fiction, we have Andy Weir's Project Hail Mary and Sarah Pinsker's We Are Satellites. In fantasy, we have Son of the Storm by Suyi Davies Okungboa. Boy, I hope I'm pronouncing that name right. We have The Black Tongue Thief by Christopher Buhlman. And finally, A Master of Gin by P. DeJelly Clark. This is tough. I'm going to say no to the young adult right away because it feels like I've been reading a lot of young adult lately. Um, science fiction, Project Hail Mary. I may end up reading that later, but especially just from the cover. I don't think I'm going to read Project Hail Mary. 
very interested in the Sarah Pinsker book and the fantasies, Fan Son of a Storm, The Black Tongue Thief, and A Master of Gin. Okay, let me narrow it down. Am I interested more in science fiction or fantasy this month? You know what? I think I'm in the mood for a science fiction. I really do. I'm going to go with Sarah Pinsker's We Are Satellites. Now, let's go ahead and read the blurb. See what I am getting myself into. From award-winning author Sarah Pinsker comes a novel about one family and the technology that divides them. Val and Julie just want what's best for their kids, David and Sophie. So when teenage son David comes home one day asking for a pilot, a new brain implant, oh, <laughs> to help with school, they reluctantly agree this is the future after all. Soon, Julie feels mounting pressure at work to get a pilot to keep pace with her colleagues, leaving Val and Sophie part of the shrinking minority of people without this device. Before long, the implications are clear for the family and society. Get a pilot or get left behind. With government subsidies and no downside, why would anyone refuse? And how do you stop a technology once it's everywhere? Those are the questions Sophie and her anti-pilot movement rise up to answer, even if it puts them up against the pilot's powerful manufacturer and pits Sophie against the people she loves most. So I assume this is sort of a maybe metaphor about getting smartphones because everyone has to have one now and looking forward to brain implants. Thank you, Elon Musk. Anyway, from the blurb, I am getting a lot of allegory and I'm into it. And it looks like it's a standalone, which is always a plus. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification button. Until we meet again, may all the books you read be blessed.